Apologies in advance. No funny or clever intro. We got a lot to cover today. Essential nutrients, strap in. Let's look at the definitions. Essential, absolutely necessary, extremely important. Nutrient, a substance that provides nourishment, essential for growth and the maintenance of life. So essential nutrients are the things we need from food for optimal health. They are critical for growing, maintaining, and repairing our body. One important thing to note is that our body cannot make these on its own which is why we need them from dietary or food sources. Before we get into the six essential nutrients themselves, you should know the difference between macronutrients and micronutrients. Macro is big or large, so think nutrients we need in larger amounts. These are the building blocks of our diet. Micro is small, so it's nutrients that we need in smaller amounts. They are just as important, but we need them in much smaller amounts or doses. Okay, now that you know the two main categories, what are the six essential nutrients? Each is more or less a category itself, but one overlaps with one of the food groups. So let's start with that one. Protein. It provides the building blocks of the body and performs a variety of functions, including growth and development of muscles, bones, skin, and hair, and it helps to form hormones and antibodies, just to name a couple. All of your cells contain protein. If you are aware of protein as a food group, then you already know some sources. Meat, poultry, seafood, beans, nuts, eggs. While not usually in the food group, even some grains and plant products also contain protein. The second macro essential nutrient is carbohydrates. Most people have heard of carbs and a lot think of bad. While there are various sources of carbohydrates and some are definitely more healthful than others, carbohydrates are the sugars and starches that are essential for providing energy for our cells and tissues. Nailed it. When talking about carbs, quality is definitely important. You can put carbohydrates into two different categories, simple and complex carbohydrates. Simple carbohydrates are typically highly processed or refined. These are things like white bread, baked treats, syrups, sodas, and products with added sugar. These simple carbohydrates will still give you energy, but it will usually be in a quick spike followed by a crash. So it's not long lasting and they don't contain a lot of other useful nutrients. Complex carbohydrates have higher amounts of starch and fiber, contain lower amounts of sugar, and take longer to digest. Examples of complex carbohydrates are things like vegetables, fruits, nuts, beans, and whole grains. These will give you longer lasting energy, make you feel full longer, and are more nutrient dense. So you can think of all carbohydrates as a combination of fruits, vegetables, grains, and junk food too. You typically want to focus on getting more complex carbohydrates. The third essential macronutrient is fats, or the more science term, lipids. Just like carbs, fats can often be generalized or stereotyped as bad. But also like carbohydrates, you have to distinguish between different types or quality of fat. Without getting too in depth, according to current science, monounsaturated and polyunsaturated are considered more healthful fats. And saturated and trans fats are the fats that we want to limit or completely avoid. Saturated or trans fats are found in animal fats like butter or in highly processed or fried foods. Healthful fats are found in things like fish, vegetable oils, and nuts and seeds. They perform a variety of important functions, including stored energy, helps with brain functioning, protects our organs, absorbs some vitamins, and can assist in immune function, just to name a few. Now onto micronutrients, vitamins. Vitamins are micronutrients that serve numerous functions. Because there are multiple types found in various foods, you can just say vitamins are essential for maintaining optimal health. From helping to support the immune system, our skin, absorption of other nutrients, they each are essential in their own way. There are 13 essential vitamins. Some vitamins absorb into fat and others into water. The best way to get enough vitamins is to eat a balance of healthful foods from various food groups. And yep, you guessed it. Healthy foods typically contain higher amounts of vitamins than unhealthy foods. Sometimes people may take vitamins due to food allergies or digestive conditions, but if possible, it's typically recommended to try to get them from the foods you eat. 
The second micronutrient, minerals. Like vitamins, there are multiple minerals with various functions. Long story short, minerals are essential for maintaining optimal health. Similarly, they can support our bones, skin, immune system, oxygen levels, lots of things. Some examples are calcium, magnesium, potassium, zinc, just to name a few. Just like vitamins, a balanced range of vegetables, fruits, and healthy fats and carbohydrates is the best way to get the minerals we need. Some people may choose to or need to take mineral supplements as well, but if you can get them from food, do it. And the last essential nutrient, water. Okay, maybe it seems a little out of place from the other five, but it's definitely essential. A human can usually go weeks without the other five essential nutrients before they die, but only days without water. Some of the main functions of water include distributes other nutrients throughout the body, assists in waste removal, helps to regulate body temperature, helps to lubricate and hydrate our body, and is one of the core components of all of our cells. Sources, obviously water, but also produce can contain a good amount of water. Try to avoid sugary sports drinks and sodas. While they may contain water, the sugar is gonna do more harm than good. <sighs> All right, recap. There are six essential nutrients. They are essential because our body can't make them, but we have to have them. There are macronutrients, which we need in large amounts, and micronutrients, which we need in small amounts. Macronutrients include protein, which helps to build and repair our bodies, carbohydrates, which primarily give us energy, and fats that act as stored energy and provide various other functions. Remember that with each of the macronutrients, quality is important. Look for the healthful types of these nutrients. Micronutrients are vitamins and minerals. There are dozens of each, and really we need them all to maintain optimal health. The best way to get the vitamins and minerals we need is by choosing healthful foods from the various food groups. And lastly, water. It's used to hydrate, lubricate, and transport things throughout our body. Let me know if you learned something new or would like to know more about something specific. Keep it straight up.